It is not the movement of the clock that produces the newness of life. It is the movement in your mind. You're going to hear all kinds of things said about you. Throw it behind you. The enemies that you see today, you will see them no more. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises against you, God will condemn. This is my time. is everybody in here is going through a change you don't have to be ashamed of yours we are all in the process of transforming to a higher better expression of myself let this be the year that I birth a higher better expression of myself don't let the habits of my past Stop me from this metamorphosis. New year, new me. New year, new me. What separates us is transformation. The possibility of change. The desire to evolve the passion to get up off the ground and stop eating dirt. I'm, I'm tired of doing what I used to do. If I always do what I've always done, I'll always be where I've always been. I'm gonna throw it behind me. There's somebody in this room that, that nobody would think would be in a church tonight, but you drew them to this place tonight because you want them to be a new me and a new year and have a new attitude and a new mind because the real battleground is in your mind. That's where the fight is. You lay down with it. You get up with it. You go to work with it. You can't digest your food because of it. Smiling in front of people and nobody knows that there's gunfire going off in your head. It's not a geographical location. It's not debt. It's not money. It's not haters. It's not enemies. It's not liars. It's not backbiters. That's not the battleground. Stop wasting your weapons on what people say because it is not what they say about you that matters it is what you say about you that threatens your destiny you will never be defeated by what they say about you you will be defeated by what you say about you what I'm trying to tell you beloved is that you can have a new year but it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. I'm telling you that you can buy a new car, but if you put the old man in a new car, you still want to have the old experience. I'm telling you that a new house doesn't make a new marriage. I'm talking about a new outfit doesn't make you a new person. And if you think you are magically going to be a new person, I hate to be the bearer of bad news because new life comes from a new mind and a new way of looking at your life. I cannot step into the future and still think in my past. I cannot let the rumors and the stain of what they said about me destroy my opportunity. Slap somebody and tell them I gotta kill it tonight. I gotta destroy it tonight. I gotta get rid of it tonight. I gotta throw it behind me tonight. I can't drag that same old mess into another year. You have to fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing because until they get their mind right, everything you invest in them is going to leak out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Look at your neighbor and ask him, do you have a mind to change? Wait for an answer. 
If they said no, drag them to the altar. Tell them they got till midnight to get that fixed. They've got till midnight to, to dump out all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blaming other people for your mistake. You got till midnight to get rid of every poison that's hindering you, every inflexibility that's stopping you from what God is about to pour into your life. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. <laughs> give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Do you have the mindset to be blessed? You have to decide to be blessed. You have to decide, you know what, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad that I will rejoice. I, as an act of my will, I've decided I'm going to rejoice. I made up my mind. I'm going to be happy. I made up my mind. I'm going to enjoy. I'm as healthy as I'm going to be. I'm as young as I'm ever going to be. I can't get any younger. I can't roll the clock back. What, with what I got left, I'm going to maximize this. I will rejoice. See, that's, that's getting on somebody's nerves right now because that old mind can't rejoice. No, not me. I can't rejoice. I'm still angry. I'm not going to rejoice till they apologize. I'm not going to rejoice until he leaves that other woman. I'm not going to rejoice until my children appreciate me. You are wasting time. You have to let the past go and step over into the future and say, I I will rejoice. Tell three people and tell them there's some things I'm not taking with me in the new year. Everything that's inflexible and everything that's not ready and everything that's backwards and everything that's negative and everything that's condescending and everything that's carnal and everything that's holding me back, I refuse to take it over into another year and waste another new year with an old mind. The devil is a lie. not conform or in other words to this world don't shape yourself around the comings and goings of this world don't shape your opinions and your attitudes about around circumstances that you cannot change don't build your identity around worldliness be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed the word transform comes from the Greek word metamufu, where we get metamorphosis. He said, you can go through a metamorphosis, a complete transformation, not because it's January 1, but by the renewing. Woo. If you knew what I dropped on you just there, you'd just be shouting right now. The most powerful tool that you have right now in your life, in your body, is your mind. And your mind is so strong and so powerful that the Bible said, it is with the mind that we serve the Lord. Say that with me. It is with the mind that we serve the Lord. That's why the enemy fights you in your mind. He fights you in your mind. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound. He just has to tie up your head with stress, with worry, with aggravation, with low self-esteem, with pettiness, with anger, with hostility, with rebellion. And he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick. But somebody in here tonight is about to get a miracle in your head.
Look at your neighbor and say, you don't have to get out of trouble. Tell them you don't have to get out of trouble before midnight. You just have to get your mind out of trouble. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. You can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you, no witch that hexes you can stop you from being free. If you can get your mind out, grab yourself by the hand and say, we're coming out of this. Slap somebody and say, I'm coming out head first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm coming out head first. I'm going to get my head out. I'm going to get my thinking out. I'm going to get my mentality out. I'm coming out head first. And when my head comes, everything that's connected to the head is going to have to come out too. I'm getting my head. transformed by the renewing of your mind not by the clock striking 12 but by the renewing of your mind I'm gonna tell you why watch night is gonna have meaning to you not because it's midnight but because some of you have gone through so much hell last year that the trouble you went through forced you that you know you can't go into the future thinking like you were thinking and feeling like you were feeling. You are forced to the point that you have got to get your head out first and everything else is gonna follow. Who am I talking to tonight? <laughs>